Hi there, what is, and welcome to a new video of the Uruguayan Heroes YouTube channel. Today we will continue our series, which focuses on the stars of tomorrow, the heroes of tomorrow. The Uruguayan footballers under the age of 23, or age 23, who I believe can be uh, the new shining lights of Uruguayan football. And today in episode number three, number three, we will focus on Facundo Pelistri. He is currently under contract at Manchester United. Uh, he was bought by United in 2020 um, for um, $10 million. And since then, he has been on loan at Alaves. And the expectancy is that he will be uh, going out on loan again to, yeah, to play many minutes and to gain experience. Uh, but from what I've seen and from what we've all seen is that we can say it's, it's a big talent. Uh, when he came through Peñarol, he was... Uh, was a really a joy to watch uh, playing without fear. Uh, I remember uh, the the great Rick Elmer, um, the we we're, were working for Boca Juniors, talking about the possibility of signing him, and he all also said for like this is a player who we just love to watch. The fans love to watch this kind of player, and it was no surprise that big European clubs were were interested in signing him, and eventually United got him over the line. Um, and yeah, the future seems bright for him. Um, so let's just look at some highlights of him and uh, watch uh, what he's made of. Listy, like you can see here, probably deployed as a right winger. He can also play in the left, and also for me, and as a number ten, I think number ten is has got. He's got some real good uh, vision for the number 10 position. He is suited to it. But from the right wing, he often plays from, for Peñarol and for Alaves as well. Because he's a pure winger. A winger who takes on his opponents, who's quick, who is deceptive, skillful, and also has an eye for a goal. That's something, that is something that he has to develop more, but he has it for sure. And he should develop it even more. player and when he's dribbling when he has the ball at his feet everything is possible uh, he is he's brave you know he doesn't uh, go out of the way for chances and he's a brave player for me even though he's not the, he's not the strongest not the uh, not the tallest but he is brave when he's going into players because he believes in himself he believes in his qualities as a football player he's quick and he's really hard to read he's really hard to defend For Alaves, he played 12 games, 12 appearances in last season. He was first in the first half of the season. He played uh, at United at the Youth Academy. Um, but in the second half of the season, he was loaned out uh, to Alaves and made a good impression. The problem was that he, that he was um, also injured for quite a few matches. So he never got a real rhythm. And he also didn't have the absolute uh, vote of confidence from the, from the manager. Because Alaves were fighting against relegation. So it was not like a situation that he could easily play and could just try him out. So he needed results. And then Pelistri did well, but um, he could have had more opportunities. And the, the feeling is that he wants to go back because Pelistri wants to go back to Alaves. This is what has been reported by good, good sources. And he wants to really have a good precision and a good full season and show himself. These are images, highlights from his time at Peñarol. Um, yeah, when he was also a joy to watch coming from the right, but also, like you see here, going inside in the middle and then making a lot of troubles for the defenders. And I said before, he's not the strongest and the tallest, which is true. But something you don't have to you you don't uh, have to underestimate is he is he is some strong 
um, physique in, in, the, in when he's dribbling. So he's good at shielding the ball and at, at, uh, at keeping opponents at distance uh, and protecting the ball. This is a good quality of him, yeah. So he has all the qualities for a really good winger. He's quick, good dribbling skills, good eye for a pass as well. You know, he's not like he's blind and he doesn't see anything what is, what, what is going on to the left, to the right. So he also, he also keeps good vision of what is going on with his teammates and where he can play and if he can assist someone. But he also, like any attacker, uh, has some... Uh, the eye for the goal, you know, killer, the killer loop. Uh, from from and I was just trying uh, want to show the the highlights of or the moment of Pelistri, which happened uh, a few days ago. So in the weekend, uh, when he played for uh, United for Manchester United, the first team is debut against Derby County in a preseason game, and he came on as, in the second half, and he immediately showed uh, boy his quality. So United fans obviously all, all already began to get excited uh, by this action, by his performance overall. Because uh, his overall performance was really good. He was taking on opponents, uh, being a threat, uh, showing himself, you know, showing the good side of himself. Um, but having said that, uh, the expectancy is still for him to go out loan, go out on loan. And for me, this is the best op option because he should play. He's 19 years of age. Uh, he's, he's developing really well, you know, since he, he debuted in professional football in August of 2019. So in these two, year, two years, he has made some really good development. And the, the worst thing for a young player, for a young player who shows promise, is to sit on the bench and not play. Uh, and of course, I know when he when he stays at United and he will not play in the first team, he will play in the under-23 side, you know, the youth team. But for me, Pelistri is, is, is at another level and he should play at the, the first division of football. And in La Liga, for the Alaves, for me, La Liga is, is the best league in the world. You can argue about it, obviously, like Premier League, La Liga, whatever, it's a different style. But for me, La Liga is, is certainly uh, the one of the two best, you know, with Premier League. But I believe La Liga is the best side in terms of quality. Uh, best league, sorry, in terms of quality. Uh, and this is a competition where you can keep growing, keep growing, hopefully play a lot of minutes. The manager, Javier Caleja, the new manager of Alaves, is a fan of his, you know, a fan of Belistri. So for me, that is a good, uh, a good option. And you also have to take in mind that Belistri will have one eye on the World Cup because he's a, a, a talented youngster who, is, who has done really well for Peñarol, done okay at Alaves, got a good money, got a good signing or what? got a, a good name because of his signing to, to Manchester United. Uh, so a lot of publicity around this. Uh, and also he is uh, uh, someone who has played for many, many times in the Uruguay national team youth sides. So the national team will probably or certainly have an eye on him. And if he can have a good, um, a good league, a good campaign at Alaves, you know, and, and playing himself uh, on the spotlights, in the spotlights, uh, there's no, there's no reason why he shouldn't believe in a, in a spot in the Uruguay uh, World Cup squad in, for Qatar. So this is also something that he probably has in mind. And for me, he's a player with the possibility of being there because he has many qualities, still really young, and for me, he is one of Uruguay's uh, uh, brightest young players um, who who has a real and unique position to be playing at Manchester United at this age, to play uh, at the same club as one of Uruguay's biggest idols in the last 20 years, Adeso Cavani, um, and who is just keeping, keep going, keep going and, and keep developing. And 
and and I think if he keeps doing this, he can be a star for uh, for Manchester United, hopefully, but for surely for uh, the Uruguay national team. Yeah. So this is my video about Facundo Palisti, the 19-year-old winger who uh, who has everything to be a star. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Palisti. What what he should do this season? Where he should go? Should he go out on loan, Wallaves, or to somewhere else, uh, or should he stay at United and fight for his place? Maybe, maybe this is your opinion. Let me know. Also, let me know your opinion on the video. Uh, this is episode number three. We will do ten, uh, ten players in total. Uh, um, who, uh, who are the heroes of tomorrow for Uruguay, in my opinion. Uh, so let me know who should be next um, and I will get right on it. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more and drop a like if you like, if you like, if you like the video. And then I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.